Welcome back. Uh, we have a returning guest that you all know, Leslie Gabola, the owner of Adapt to It. Always good to see you, Leslie. Thank you. Good to be here. And I'd like to welcome Robert Grace. Yes, did I, Grace, yes. Did I pronounce that right? Absolutely. And you are with the Ability Center, and uh, you work with Leslie in that when people need more heavy duty options or stair lifts and things like that, she calls upon you and your company and there's so many different things that you do as well, right? And first let me say hi to Leslie, welcome, Happy New Year. Thank you, Happy and New Year. And tell me about your uh, relationship with the uh, Ability Center. Well, Robert, we love the Ability Center. They are, um, we try to partner with people that we can, that com obviously compliment us. And um, we found the Ability Center a couple of years ago mm -hmm. and have had kind of an ongoing relationship. And basically, they are our go-to people for the larger items, mainly stair lifts mm -hmm. and um, some, and then some things that we don't do. Okay. Things like the van modifications, and okay. if you need the extension for your um, for your foot, mm -hmm. you know, on the foot pedal or anything like that, they can handle that. And the van conversions, they can do that. But our main focus for the, our partnership is with the stair lifts. Um, and I'm really excited about it because um, this actually gives people more mobility. I mean, that's kind of what we're all about. Right. And the whole thing about people staying in their homes is necessary and everybody wants to after being there 50 years. You don't necessarily want to move out. And so, but if you have a two-story home, what do you do? I mean, right. Quite, quite often your, your shower and your bedroom are upstairs. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to stay there, um, a stair lift is a good option. And um, I'll let Robert explain a little yeah, bit about the options. Yeah, explain what a stair lift is. Is it like that track that goes along the Absolutely. stairs, a little chair uh, that goes up? Absolutely. Okay. What's nice about the residential stair lifts is they allow full access to the home. Uh, it's uh, it's not only are they a mechanical mm -hmm. uh, instrument to take somebody up and down the stairs, but they're they're chic in a way that you can uh, match them to your home, whether it be cloth on the seat, the rail, or in some cases a spiral case to actually make a curved stair rail. Sure, really? Absolutely. So that wow. this one, no staircase can you know um, you can always have one on any staircase. Also, wow. it allows those folks who don't need the stair lift to use it as it was originally intended because the stair lift itself does not take a, as much room. Mm -hmm. uh, very safe, uh, a lot of child controls to make sure the kids don't jump on and use it. Mm -hmm. uh, it charges everywhere on the lift itself, so no matter where you're at, it, it's always powered up. And then, of course, um, the, uh, three <coughs> excuse me, the three adaptions, whether you want it in the home curved as we talked about or even outdoors. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Okay. And as far as uh, is putting those in, I know there's probably a lot of options. How long does it usually take? And uh, obviously you can do it different lengths and things like that. And as you said, you can have it even match the decor of the home, right? Absolutely. And when it comes to installation, installation is generally three to four hours for okay. a general for a straight rail. If it is obviously a curved rail, that takes a little bit more time. But we're in and out in a day. Mm -hmm. um, they do not cause a lot of uh, disruption to the home itself. Just a few bolts and screws here and there. So if in the event it needed to be removed, there's not a lot of um, future damage to the home, which is okay. also very nice. Okay. Now, the the other question I have for that is the power supply to mm -hmm. it. Is it simply plugged in? Do you need another circuit? How does that work? Actually, it's just going to run off the power of the home. Okay. Uh, the, the, the basic, and forgive me, I don't know the number, but the regular electricity coming out of the house. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so no is special it, is it, electricity required. Is it, it, it plug-in, or do you actually tap in, you have to pull wire to uh, wherever the top or bottom is? It all depends on the location okay. of, but generally you can tap in. Sometimes we do need to move some of the electricity. Okay. So, very rare. All right. So you folks can do that, or do you need an electrician in as no, well? No, no, absolutely. Um, working with, uh, again, great partnership with Adapt to it. Okay. Uh, we have our contractor, and uh, we partner with them and just take care of everything for you. It's all a right. one-stop shop. And of course you do other things as well, as Leslie said, if you need uh, help with the lift vans or extensions on your um, 
accelerator or something like that, right? Absolutely. Uh, we we do focus uh, predominantly on the lowered floored vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, which you can put a wheelchair in, you can drive from, you can passenger, and then of course all of the driving aids, whether it be a hand control, spinner knob, uh, controlling the wipers, anything like that. We adapt all of that for uh, the individual based on needs. Uh, we also do the outside lifts for scooters, power chairs, to okay. actually put the uh, wheelchair onto the vehicle or to mm -hmm. actually bring it into the vehicle depending on the vehicle. A lot of different options out there. Okay. It's, a, it's an industry that is just definitely developing every year and making things mm -hmm. so much easier on folks. Yeah, the stair lifts of course have been around for 50, 60 years. Absolutely. But absolutely. I'm sure they've improved. They were probably at one time. I, I know that <laughs> uh, uh, years and years ago when my uh, dad and uh, my stepmom was still alive living up in the Bay Area and they put one in for her on the kind of the back staircase mm -hmm. and it was pretty they actually bought it from somebody down the street and, and it worked fine mm -hmm. but it was this big metal monstrosity yes. and all that kind of stuff but, I mean it worked yeah. it was fine but I'm sure nowadays um, they're a lot better than that yeah. well with with the uh, current laser cutting technology yeah, exactly. uh, they're more they're more sleek the electricity actually runs in and out of the, the unit so that we don't have to worry about you know, injuries, cords hanging out, things like that. So yeah, they have definitely advanced themselves. All right. Now, uh, if somebody comes to you and uh, wants to get one of these, then you contact Robert mm -hmm. and kind of put them in touch mm -hmm. through there. That, yes. Right? Okay. And they come out, they'll do an evaluation. Uh, depending on the client, we'll go with them or okay. not. And then they'll bring back uh, the information to us and we deal directly with the consumer. Okay, very so good. We try to make it easy, kind of one stop, as yeah, I said, exactly. one stop shop, easy. All right, fantastic. And again, if they need something else uh, that Robert can help them with, you'll clue them into that too. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. fantastic. It's very a great good. Partnership. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Oh, mine as well. And as well. hope to see you again. Leslie, as always, uh, good to see Thank you. Thank you. Good to see and you. And Happy New Year. And I'm yeah. sure you'll let us know of any events coming up and uh, oh, all kinds of Oh, which there reminds we go. me. <laughs> yes, we do have our event, okay. my heartwarming event. Uh, February 16th, our Have a Heart That's Donation right. Day is back. That's right. And uh, February 16th, it's a Thursday, and uh, two days after Valentine's Day. And so everything, wheelchairs, walkers, canes, crutches, anything that you don't need, bring it off, at, bring it to adapt to it, drop it in our driveway, and we'll have a truck there. We're using a new uh, donation uh, person this time. Okay. Um, uh, Wheels for Humanity has changed their model. Okay. And so we're using global, global connections. I think it is. Okay. It's the same philosophy. Okay. They take our equipment, refurbish it, and distribute it to those in need. Okay. And Very good. Um, it goes worldwide. So it is the most amazing event. I love it. It warms my heart every year. So bring, tell everybody to bring everything, and we will collect it. And it's from 11 to 3 on the 16th of February. All right. Very good. Will you be back with wine and cheese and, and candy? Absolutely. She's been on before. She brings that. <laughs> Chocolates and wine. I think it's, it's time for that, don't you? I think it's time you? for that. Definitely. I think it's a, yes, celebration. All right. uh, Adapto is right down the street. El Toro and Paseo de Valencia right there. You've got the big flag. It sits right under. And Leslie can help you out in all kinds of things, uh, whether it's a small Thing. You know, you need something, how to, you know, a shoehorn or whatever it might be, the end of your cane or something, all the way up to big things like a stair lift that she can work with Robert with. Uh, good to see you. Thank we'll you. We'll see you again soon. Thank you Thank so you much. And we'll be right back. <laughs>